everyone. I'm back to tell you another Bible story, but first let's practice our memory verse. Ready? Your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. Psalm 119, 105. Great job. Now look around the room and find your grown-up. When you see them point and say, you're my grown-up. Today, I want you to practice your memory verse like you're a sheep. Grown-ups, when the verse pops up on the screen, pause the video and practice the verse together. Ready? Go. Way to go, friends. We're memorizing God's Word, the Bible, and we know that the Bible is absolutely true. Absolutely true. Everything the Bible says is absolutely true. That's right. And today, I'm going to tell you a true story about the time when God chose David to be king. We're going to learn that God cares most about our hearts. When you look at me, you see that I have brown eyes and brown hair. And when God looks at me, he sees that I have brown eyes and brown hair, but he also sees something else, my heart. That means that God sees my thoughts and my feelings and my desires, the things I really, really want. God cares about all of me, but God cares most about my heart. Do you remember Saul? He was Israel's first king. He was tall and strong and handsome. He looked like a really good king on the outside. But what does God care most about? our hearts. And Saul's heart was angry and selfish, and Saul disobeyed God. Because of that, God was going to choose a new king to lead his people, the Israelites. What kind of king do you think God was going to choose? God cares most about our hearts, so God was going to choose a king whose heart was full of God's love. God told his messenger Samuel about his plan to find a new king, and he told Samuel that he was going to help. God sent Samuel to the city of Bethlehem and told him to find a man named Jesse there. Jesse had eight sons, and God told Samuel that one of Jesse's sons would be the next king. The first son was named Eliab, and when Samuel looked at him and saw him, he thought, surely this is the Lord's anointed. But God said no. God said, people judge by the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. Samuel thought Eliab would be a good king because of what he looked like, but God cares most about our hearts. One by one, Jesse sent out seven of his sons, but each time, God said no. Samuel finally asked, are there any more sons? And Jesse told him there was one more, but he was out in the field watching the goats and sheep. Do you know anyone in the Bible who is a shepherd boy? Did you guess David? David is Jesse's last son. Samuel called for David and told him to come here, and when he did, God said, this is the one. This is the next king. The Bible tells us that David was handsome and that he had beautiful eyes. Do you think that is why God chose him to be the next king? God cares most about our hearts. He chose David to be king because he knew that David's heart was full of God's love. David was not a perfect king. Only God is the perfect king. But when David did make mistakes, he asked God for forgiveness, and God forgave him. And guess what? God promised David that one day, someone from his family would be the king forever. Do you know who the forever king is? It's Jesus, that's right. Let's take a break and talk about what we've learned today. Grownups, this is your cue. When the question pops up on the screen, pause the video and talk about it. God chose David to be king because God knew David's heart. God knew that David's heart was full of God's love and that David wanted to obey God. God even said that David's heart was like his own. When this video ends, I want you to pray together and ask God to make your heart more like his. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.